whack of trades to talk about today uh, on the 12th. Uh, happy Thanksgiving um, to those of you in Canada at the moment. Uh, and let's get started. This fan's in my face, so I'm just going to change that. And let's talk about Tyler Toffoli. Um, just signed by the Montreal Canadiens. Now, Montreal's looking like um, a playoff team at the moment after signing Josh Anderson, uh, backup um, Jake Allen, uh, now Tyler Toffoli, and uh, Edmondson, of course, on defense. They're looking good. And I got to say, this Atlantic division looks like it's going to be a quite a tough one this coming season with uh, not just the usual Boston, Tampa, Toronto, um, Montreal, Buffalo is looking better right after Hall. I'm not saying they're going to win the cup or contend or anything, but they're definitely look like, looking like a better team. Um, Ottawa shouldn't be as bad this coming season, and neither should Detroit for that matter. Um, they're actually signing hockey players there now. <laughs> so um, they're going to be fine in a few years, don't you worry, Detroit fans. Uh, but yeah, so let's look at Toffoli here and his numbers. Um, he's six foot, 197 pounds. He's a right shot. He's 28 years old. Uh, had a birthday last in April there. Now, um, Montreal has signed him to a, a four-year deal. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four-year deal worth just over $4.2 million. I got to say, this is pretty good. I like this one. Um, it finishes him off at the age of 32. He's a productive guy. A good signing. Unlike, you know, the Josh Anderson uh, signing, which I thought seven years was brutal on that one. And I know the circumstances, he said, either one year or long term. I would have just taken the short term. But that's another video. Uh, now, Tyler DeFoley. Um, last season, he split between the Kings and the Canucks. In 58 games with the Kings, he had 18 goals, 34 assists, was a minus 4. In 10 games with the Canucks, uh, 6 goals, 10 points, point per game guy, plus 3. In the playoffs, in 7 games, he had 2 goals, 4 points, minus 4. Not bad at all. Uh, this is a guy who's won 2 cups, obviously, before. He'll be a nice addition, nice veteran add um, to the Montreal uh, wing there. I was kind of surprised he didn't re-sign with Vancouver. I know they would have had to given up, um, was it a third instead of a fourth uh, to LA if they did sign him, but so what? At, if it was if it was the similar kind of money, why not? I mean, they didn't sign, um, you know, Markstrom. Uh, they saved a little bit of money by signing Holtby. Holtby um, and of course, they didn't sign Tanev either. So there must be uh, some other plans they have at the moment. Um, but I, I found that peculiar, uh, why, why Toffoli didn't re-sign with them. So, a uh, good one on Montreal. Let's move on now and talk about uh, Ryan Graves, uh, the Colorado Avalanche, their left shot uh, defense. Six foot five, 220 pounds, WWE wrestler here, um, 25 years old. They signed him to a three-year deal uh, worth just over $3.1 million. Really good signing. Um... This is probably right around the money I thought he was going to go for. In 69 games last season, he had 9 goals, 26 assists. Um, excuse me. 9 goals, 26 points. Was a plus 40. Best in the league. Um, and in 15 games in the playoffs, he had 1 goal, 3 points, plus 9. So, he, you know, he's not a point getter. Um, but he plays well with an offensive defenseman at his side. A good defensive D, big boy. Uh, you know what he does. Clears the front of the net, that kind of thing. So um, that's his second year in Colorado right now, and he's going to be there for a few more. Um, that's a good for them. That's a good signing. And then next up, we've got Matthias Janmark, um, or Janmark. I think it's Janmark. You can correct me. It's 20, He's 27 years old, six foot one, 195 pounds, Swedish player. Um, he, former Buffalo, former Buffalo, former Dallas Stars, um, now, he, they signed him to a one-year deal worth, uh, just over $2.2 million. I don't know what Chicago's doing anymore, I really don't. Um, they seem to be re, I want to say it's a rebuild, or like, <laughs> or not quite, like, it's like a heavy retool, it's a fine line. It's a gray area. I mean, you heard the news the other day of how disappointed their core player was, core players were that they traded, you know, um, players like Sad and such away because um, they 
They didn't know they were rebuilding. They didn't really re-sign Crawford. They re-signed Saban. I didn't understand that. Um, but anyways, uh, Janmark, Janmark, I'll call him, in 62 points, 6 goals, uh, 21 points, minus 5. I should know the pronunciation of his name by now. I know. Uh, in the playoffs, in 26 games, 1 goal, um, 8 points, plus minus category, he was a 0. I mean, it is what it is. He's like a, he's a third line uh, depth player for Chicago, a guy who could maybe move up uh, if injuries occur. Um, Ho-hum, really. I mean, there's not much more to talk about there. Jimmy Vesey signs with Toronto. Um, he plays both wings. We all know this guy. I didn't realize how big he was. He's six foot three, 202 pounds. Um, he's 27. Remember, he's a former Hobie Baker award winner. Um, Toronto was hoping to sign him back in the Babcock days. Of course, that never happened. He went from Nashville to the New York Rangers um, and did all right with the Rangers in the three years that he was with them. Uh, he scored uh, se uh, 17 goals in two of the three years and 16 in the other um, and bobbed between 27 and 35 points. Um, and then with Buffalo, he played 64 games. That's funny because I remember Buffalo chasing him down, wanting him too, and he turned them down as well. So it's ironic that he goes he goes back there. Um, in any case, he had nine goals and 20 points and was a plus 12 last season with Buffalo. So not much there to talk about point-wise, but he's still relatively young, and he was a plus 12. He's like one of, what, three or four players on the Buffalo roster that was in the plus category, and that was also the first time for him being on the plus side in his career um, in the NHL. For New York, he was minus 13, minus 18, minus 6 during his time. Um, so that's interesting. Now, the only playoffs that he's seen were, was 12 games in his first year with the Rangers, uh, where he had one goal, five points, and was a zero in the plus-minus category. This is a depth guy for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, He's, I see him more of as a third-line player, but he, he could see time on the fourth line as well. If somebody gets hurt, maybe he even steps up to the second line. Uh, I know Toronto still has to sign players like, um, you know, uh, oh my God, uh, Travis Dermott, their left-shot defenseman, uh, and also Mikheyev, um, one of their wingers, who had a really good season in the regular season until he got that laceration on his, his wrist, I believe. Was it his wrist? Yeah. Uh, and he played for close to minimum last season, and he, he's going to arbitration right now. So uh, Toronto doesn't really have much cap space left, although uh, Vesey, if I didn't mention that already, only signed for $900,000. So he, he's not going to break the bank here. I think it's a pretty good deal for the Leafs. He's another guy he likes, you know, getting into the front of the net. Um, he's not a pushover either. I think he's had around six or seven fights during the season. He's kind of like Simmons in, in, the, in the way that he's not a fighter per se, but he'll definitely drop the gloves. Um, maybe Simmons more than him, but you, you get what I mean here. Um, just to take a quick look, uh, let's see if we can find uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs um, and what they did, um, or, or excuse me, what kind of cap space um, they have at the moment. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, here we go. Yeah, ooh, ooh. just over $27,000 left in cap space right now. So uh, I could see, hmm, I could see another trade coming. Uh, Kerfoot is making just over $3 million, between three, three and a half. Maybe he's a candidate, although he was a really good fit as a third line center. Uh, maybe I think either Dermot or Mikheyev have got to go. One of those two guys. They can't sign both of them, that's for, sure, for certain. So Toronto's still got some moves to make. Um, in order to at least sign, you know, either Dermot or Mikheyev. So we'll see what happens there. I'll probably do a video uh, reviewing all uh, all the teams in November um, when it comes to free agent frenzy and, and give them some sort of grade or something. So look out for that. Now, uh, we're still moving along here. Uh, Corey Crawford, um, last but not least, uh, signed a one-year deal, ho-hum, with the New York Islanders. Uh, of course, he's not going to be backing anyone up. I think I see him. He's going to be a third string goalie. Remember, not only do they have Varlamov now, um, but Sorokin, I believe, is going to be joining them. 
Uh, yeah, for the 2021 season. He's only 24 years old. He's got some killer stats uh, playing up in the KHL. Um, so look for you know a bit of a platoon situation, probably going between him and Varlamov and Schneider being you know third stringer um, sitting in the box, that kind of deal. Um, who knows? Uh, you know, people may be going a little bit over on their depth now because of COVID, um, and just in case there's a breakout and. La da da da. In any case, uh, that's it. That's all. Video's long enough as it is already. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, as always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, which will alert you when my next video comes out. And I'll continue to talk about these free agents being signed. Thanks again. Happy Thanksgiving again to all those Canadians out there. Um, and please be kind to each other, and I'll see you soon.